Hey y'all, it's Sierra, aka Capricorn Moon Goddess, back with another fragrance oil review. And this is going to be over a company that I'm trying for the first time. The name of the company is called Scented Expressions. And I found out about this company because my sister, if y'all hear like loud banging noises, that's my fireplace. But anyway, I found out about this company because my sister wanted me to find a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. So um, they have that scent. So when I searched for it, this um, company came up. I've never used them before, but I went ahead and ordered it since... Um, I think there were only a few companies that had it. The other company that I found, um, they don't allow you to buy like sample sizes. They want you to buy a larger size. I'm not about to do that. And I never tried your company before. I'm just not like you need to offer sample sizes if you want me to buy your fragrance oils. That's just me. So anyway, um, I decided to go with Scented Expressions because they do offer sample sizes. They do have very good pricing. Um, so if you are looking for cheaper oils, um, not, you know, the oils with the luxury prices like 1617, Macy, um, you know, those kind of places, they, they do have really good prices here. And I have smelled the oil, so I did put them on blotter strips so I can smell them. And I will go ahead and say, I feel like they're very good quality. They smell like really good quality in the bottle and on the fragrance strips. I have yet to use them in a product, so I will tell y'all how the scent throw is in a product. Most likely, I would be using these for candles as well as bath and body products. Most of these are dupes for perfumes and colognes. Um, so I'll probably be using them for both applications. So if I can, I'll tell y'all how they work in both. Typically, you don't really have an issue with oils in um, bath and body products as far as retention unless you're putting them in soap. So if you're making body butters and stuff like that, um, it's probably going to smell, you know, strong enough. But if you're making soap, depending on what kind of soap you're making, it can create some issues. So when you do look at reviews for fragrances, if you're looking for candle reviews, make sure you're paying attention to whether or not people are leaving a review for using them in a candle or wax melt or if they're using them in soap or lotions or things of that nature. Because... Um, if it doesn't work well in soap, the soapers will give it a bad review, but they'll usually tell you if it at least smells good. Now that I got that out of the way, um, I did write down what my initial thoughts were on the scents, and then we will look at the scent throw. Um, not the scent throw. We will look at the fragrance notes on the website to see if they line up. They actually... Um, sent me the wrong size of Lost Cherry. I ordered eight ounces of that and two ounces of everything else. And they sent me two ounces of uh, everything. So they did not get the size right for one of my fragrance oils. I got these yesterday. I reached out to them and I'm still waiting to hear back from them. Um, also, they have something, a disclaimer on their website that says, Everything is in stock unless it says otherwise. Well, that turned out not to be true. I did also order a lemon pledge type scent that said it was in stock on their website. And I guess it really wasn't. So what they did was, I guess they gave me a credit for their website or like a code to use for their website. I do think they need to offer people the choice of if they want a refund or if they want store credit. Versus just assuming people want store credit uh, because you don't know if I want to shop with your company again. <laughs> so, but after I smelled the oils, I was like, okay, I like the quality of these oils. Now, because I liked the quality of the oils, I went on their website and I started um, 
reading all of the scent notes for their fragrances so I can put them on my wish list. So when I go to buy more, I know which ones I want to buy. And I noticed that they tend to like to go back and forth with people in the comment section or the review section. Um, so if you leave a review and they don't like your review, they will go back and forth with you in the comment section. That was a bit of a turn off, but I'll go into that um, later on. Um, so let's just go with the scent, uh, fragrance notes that I got. So we're going to start with Zestfully Clean Fragrance Oil. And I'll try to put pictures up here on their website. It looks like a picture of uh, grass. So I was expecting this to be like a grassy type scent. However, I did not get any grass notes whatsoever. I did not get any green notes, any plants, any herbs, nothing like that. But I did actually really like the scent. So I'm looking forward to using it. When I smelled it, what I got was a clean smell that's in between like a soap type smell and a fresh laundry type smell. It kind of smelled a little bit like cotton and dryer sheets and then like some kind of citrus like lemon. So um, I don't know if it has any similarities to the soap called Zest because isn't there a soap called Zest? I thought there was, but um, it smells really clean like how a soap would, but it also smells kind of like a laundry product as well but I really do like it I'm looking forward to using it I just don't think it smells like grass at all so that is a little bit misleading in my opinion um the fact that they say it smells like grass but maybe it does to them we all have different um interpretations when we smell something we have different senses of smell so what they are saying as far as the description is you're not fully clean unless dot 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 you know the rest i don't know the rest y'all so if y'all know the rest if y'all know what they're talking about what is that saying let me know in the comment section because i don't know but anyway, you're not fully clean unless you know the rest. Outdoorsy type scent like fresh cut grass after it rains, but with a kick. I do not smell grass. I do not smell rain. I do not smell ozone. I don't smell soil. I don't smell earthiness. I don't get any of that at all. What I get is a clean cotton laundry soap type smell that it's very refreshing and I feel like when you clean your house you will want it to smell like this it smells fresh and clean but it does not smell like a cleaner so there is no chemical smell at all it just smells really nice really clean doesn't smell like baby powder it doesn't smell like musk it just smells clean so I actually do like this one Oh man, I only got like three more minutes. Okay, let me hurry up. I got to go get my son from school. So let me stop talking so much. Okay, so next we're going to discuss their scent called Humidor. And it looks like this is a dupe of Wooden Wicks um, Humidor candle. I've never smelled it. I don't know if it smells the same, but I do like the scent. To me, it reminded me of Kaye 23 from 1617 without the strong peach, mango, fruity type scents. Whatever that peach scent they have. They have some kind of orange fruit in Kaye 23. Uh, it reminds me of that, but without that peachy type scent. Um, I can smell suede, woodsy, sweet, cigar, oak moss. And like a slight berry note. So if you are liking um, how Kaye 23 smells from 1617. But you don't want to pay the price for the 1617. Um, you may want to try Humidor from Scented Expressions. And then maybe you can add like a little bit of peach to it. But it really does remind me of that. It may not smell exactly the same. But it reminds me of it. And it smells like pretty good quality. Um, so they are saying or describing it as a medley of aged tobacco, leather, ambered musk with layers of smoky vanilla, uh, making this amazing and sophisticated. I don't really smell tobacco, but I do smell cigar. Um, to me, tobacco scents and cigar scents smell a little bit different. Cigar tends to be more sweet, 
So I smell cigar. I smell suede. Not necessarily leather like the type of leather that is at a uh, biker shop or, you know, leather coats or briefcases or stuff like that. It smells like suede, in my opinion, which is a little bit sweeter than just the regular leather type smell. Um, and it has amber in it, it says. So maybe the sweetness is coming from the amber. Um, let me see what else. They don't say that there's oak moss, but there's musk. So maybe the musk smell is the oak moss. And um, I don't see any berry notes whatsoever, but I swear I smell some kind of fruit or berry. So maybe it's in there, but it's just not listed. So that is humidor. I really do like that one. Um, let's move on because y'all, I got to go. Okay, Sweet Whiskey. Sweet Whiskey is a Bath and Body Works dupe. And um, so in my opinion, this smells like nothing like whiskey, nothing like alcohol, nothing like bourbon. If you are looking for a scent that smells like alcohol, in my opinion, this is not it. Um, but I do like it. To me, it smells like suede with a little bit of berry. It reminds me of Candle Science Pink Sugar. Their pink sugar is basically cotton candy and a berry type smell and that's what this reminds me of but with a little bit more of a woodsy note or a little bit more of a masculine or musky note so this is kind of like a unisex version of candle science's pink sugar just with less berry and more of a like woodsy note um i kind of smell like cotton candy you know so it's like a suede cotton candy berry type scent in my opinion um so they describe it as a rich smooth sweet spirit of golden amber vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries again i don't smell the whiskey i don't know what bath and body works version smells like but in my opinion i don't smell any alcohol in this whatsoever um, but it is like a more upscale uh, unisex version of Candle Science Pink Sugar, in my opinion. Um, so again, suede, berry, musky, woodsy, cotton candy is what I am getting from this one. It does smell like it's a good quality. I don't know if it's something I need in my line, so I may or may not buy it again. Uh, but it is a nice smelling scent. Next, we are going to do effing fabulous Tom Ford dupe. So y'all, I don't cuss, so I'm not going to say the F word, but <laughs> it's called effing fabulous. Okay, so what I get from this is a cologne musk suede. I'm telling y'all, I guess I like suede type scents because a lot of these smell like that to me. Um, but also because a lot of these are dupes for colognes, so that's probably why. So I get cologne, musk, suede, something earthy, maybe vetiver. I kind of smell like earthy soil a little bit in there. Some people may not be able to pick that up. I can pick up notes even if they are hiding, okay, in the background. But I smell some kind of vetiver. Also, I smell lavender and something sweet. So what they are saying is... This is an eclectic fragrance that blends together contrasting notes of sage, lavender, bitter almond oil, tonka bean, orris, and dark leathers. So I didn't pick up sage, but the sage is probably the earthy scent that I was mistaking for vetiver. Um, I do smell the lavender. I don't necessarily smell almond, but the tonka bean um, is probably what is giving it the sweet smell. And then the leather, again... To me, what they're describing as leather sounds like, smells like suede, in my opinion. Suede might be a kind of leather. I don't know, y'all. It probably is. But in my opinion, suede smells different from, like, you know, the leather that the bikers wear. <laughs> or, like, new shoe type of smell. It's not that kind. Um, oh, it does say that it has essential oils of amorous, chamomile, and patchouli. So the patchouli may also be what's giving it the earthy kind of smell. And the amorous, amorous can, I believe, be used as a substitute for sandalwood. It's just cheaper than sand sandalwood. So um, that could be giving it the sweet, uh, earthy smell. Also, 
So I like that one. I would probably buy that one again. Um, and then the last one that I got is Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. So to me, it smelled like an upscale version of Jergens lotion. Remember Jergens back in the day in the 90s when I was growing up? We used to use that all the time. It smells like that because that is an almond cherry type fragrance, but it smells like an upscale version. But they added to it, made it a little bit more complex by adding in some florals and some musk. And it also smells really clean to me. Um, so I really do like it, but it's, it's hard to describe because it's floral, musky, and clean, but it also has cherry notes in it. So they're saying it is an exciting blend of tart cherry, sensual rose, and mysterious woody um, notes yield an indulgently invigorating aroma. That was a lot to try to read, okay? I don't know what Tom Ford Lost Cherry smells like. My sister does, so she will let me know if she thinks it smells um, like the real thing. Now, as I mentioned earlier, they like to go back and forth with people in the comments section or the review section. And that kind of turned me off a little bit. I do think sometimes people are unfair in their reviews or, um, they made some kind of error by not reading properly what they were getting. Like some people were complaining that, they thought they were buying lotion or perfume because they use pictures of perfumes and lotions as their thumbnails, um, I guess, to show that it's a dupe of that perfume or lotion. So some people were confused thinking they were buying actual lotion or perfume. Yeah, you probably should have read properly, but the way they responded to me was kind of like a little bit on the unprofessional side. And I'm not the kind of person that thinks the customer is always right okay the customer can definitely be wrong and you can definitely defend yourself but they told there was a review and i'm gonna put it on the screen this customer was reviewing a certain scent and they were saying it smells like baby powder to them it doesn't smell like how it was described kind of like how i said the grass scent didn't smell like grass um, they were like, it smells really clean, but it smells like baby powder. So if you like that kind of clean type of scent, this will be good for you. These people literally responded and would tell them people, oh, you must be nose blind because, um, oh no, that was a different review where they told somebody they were nose blind. On this one, they were like, oh, well, it smells like it to us and to other customers. This is definitely a clean scent. And I was like, why did they come at them like that? Like they had an attitude with them for saying that it didn't smell the way that it was described. Just because you and some other customers agree, first of all, how come those customers did not put any reviews on there that said they agree that it smells right? So are y'all gonna be upset when people leave honest reviews of how they feel about your products? If I were to go on there on the zesty scent and say I really like this scent it smells really good but it doesn't smell like grass to me are y'all gonna come at me sideways in the comment section I don't like that that was a turn off it makes me not necessarily know if I want to do business with them especially when y'all didn't even get my order right like if you got time to go back and forth with people in the comment section have time to get people's orders right okay um, but with that said, I feel like they have really good product, uh, quality oils and, um, I feel like they have really good prices. Uh, I think you can get like 16 ounces for like 20 something dollars and at like 16, 17, you're going to pay like 20 something dollars for like four ounces. So, oh shoot, I got to put my phone on the charger. So, um, I will probably order from them again. I will get back to y'all to let y'all know how they handle, how is their customer service as far as me reaching out to them to tell them they got a portion of my order wrong. How long will it take for them to get back to me? Are they going to be nice or are they going to bite my head off like they were biting those people's heads off in the comment section? Like, that just blew me. That just threw me off all the way. Um, it does say on their website that they are a family-owned business um, and that they have a crew of three people that pack, process, and ship the orders. So you do have to give them some um, 
leeway with shipping and stuff like that because it's only three of them but i got my order fairly fast i ordered it over the christmas holiday and i got it yesterday on january 5th so i got my order fast um if you want to support small local owned business this would be a good company except for they might just get an attitude with you if they don't like how your review is so i think they need to work on that because that is a turn off and um even though your prices are cheaper sometimes people are willing to pay more for products if they feel like they're getting a better customer service so it's almost like you get what you pay for am i paying for cheaper products so that you can get an attitude with me in the comment section because 1617 would never i left a review on um one of their jars um the glow in the dark jar and i was saying it didn't really glow in the dark and they told they responded back to me but they didn't respond in a rude way they just responded back and let me know that you have to put the jar in the light first and then it'll start glowing in the dark they didn't get an attitude with me though other than that i think this would be a good company to um get fragrances from again i can't speak to the uh how they work in a finished product but i will do a testing video for y'all later on so if you've used this company let us know what your experience was with customer service let us know if you liked the products how they did in your finished products um and thank you for taking the time to watch i gotta go get my son from school now y'all so i hope y'all have a great rest of your day bye